Hello, hello. Uh, hey guys, and welcome back to Life in the Hood. <laughs> okay, Life in the Wood, but that sounded kind of cool, maybe. Okay, so today we're gonna head out again, and our priority, priori pri uh, our what priority, is to. Let's take this. Turn my game volume down to all my uh, speakers, because you could probably hear it echoing. Okay, so our whoops, priority today is to uh, get some materials. And we found this witch hut the last episode. Um, we're not going to stick around there for too long. I was trying not to get poisoned running through all this foliage, but... I think we should seriously start a camp today, even if it's not going to be the main camp, because you do know in this series... Ouch! <clears throat> you do know in this series, I do want to find a nice biome where we're going to start working with carpenter's blocks. Because uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you would know that I am quite a formidable Minecraft builder. Okay, maybe not formidable, but I have a passion for building in Minecraft. And it's something I really want to try out in this mod pack. And I think we seriously need a boat. Okay, so let's just take a few logs off here. I am sometimes quite anal about... I can hear a zombie. Bumble, I hear it. Okay, whatever. I am sometimes kind of anal about cutting down trees like that, but we're not going to be sticking around here long enough to give a crap about a floating tree. Okay, so let's go. We've probably been around this area like so many different times now, but whatever. Let's just go. And I think we're in the version of Minecraft where... Um, boats don't act properly neither, so it's going to be quite a misfortunate if, uh... Oh, come on, world, load in. It's going to be kind of misfortunate if this boat breaks. Oh, that looks kind of sick. It would be nice if it rendered in, though. So I could just take a nice screenshot of that. Damn. Yeah, maybe it's not going to happen. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going. I want to say thanks for the support on the series too, guys. Um, it's really nice for you to drop your comments and suggestions. It really helps out a lot. We could actually just take a nice cliff like that. I think, you know, that really would suit, um, you know, me trying to build something on that. But I do want, I want a, quite an open plane first, just to do this temporary base. I'm confused of whether the actual... Mouse keys are the mouse is actually controlling this boat or the uh, the ASWD I think is the mouse. That kinda looks quite cool. Oh, but look Yeah, we're definitely getting off the boat right here and the boat just broke anyway. Screw it. And the reason why I want to stay by the seaside is that we can make the fishing net, of course, or the fishing, the fish trap. It's going to help out loads. This is packed ice, of course. And uh, snow around here. This is so bright. I really do apologize if this is melting your eyeballs right now, because it certainly is melting mine. I do apologize. But uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> I'm, conf I'm, I'm like... Okay, this is a nice place. Eyeballs melting! Maybe we should kind of immigrate south for the winter? Is that what they say? Immigrate, migrate. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's just keep going around here. Maybe the biome's just gonna shrink out into something else. This is pretty cool though. This is nice. I do like this. It's a shame Betsy's not with me, unfortunately, because um, I. You know, the the original plan was to have her with me, because this would be quite cool, but... This is for you, Betsy! Okay, we got another one of those. Scary places. And there's quicksand on the floor. Okay, this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, this is not fair. This is like, you're double-teaming me. Double-teaming me, it's not fair. Bunch of idiots. 
Whatever, you can keep your loot. It's probably crap anyway. <laughs> uh, but generally, it is usually crap, the type of loot they drop off. Uh, this is a nice little alcove right here. It's not too bad. We've got some bamboos just growing up there. Um, digging inside a mountain like this might be quite cool. Let's give it a go. Let's just, you know, let's... We need a temporary base for today, and uh, we need to find a little bit of iron deposit anyway, so... Let's just give this a go right here. Uh, let's just take all this up. Um... I have a pick, yes. Uh, do I... Let's just grab the dirt, we could put that one there. That one there. Oh, what's this? That is Andesite! Or if you're a fan of Anders, you can call it Anderpsite. It's quite cool. Another one here. That's cool, that's kind of cool. Put that here. Here. Another one. Just up on there. I keep, yeah, I keep holding, um... What's my footprint on the floor? I keep holding uh, control sometimes because I'm used to uh, sprinting in the new version of Minecraft. <laughs> so every time I accidentally zoom in like this, I, I really don't mean to do it. <laughs> wow, this stuff is kind of tough, man. But... I think it's gonna suffice and we can get a really nice base here. Uh, let's go with the sand back there. Do I have that crafting bench of epicness here? No, we can grab our door. Nice! Uh, let's just put one right by here. Can that stay? Yes. Okay, so let's excavate this. Um, I may actually put a mine shaft in here as well, one of my own handmade mine shafts, of course. Because doing making a mine shaft in your own base like this, you just know you're gonna be in like you know, you're gonna be quite safe in here anyway. That shadow can the the light coming through the door, man. There's quicksand there. Did you hear my tremble voice then? There's like quicksand there. I was like freaking out. You just look at quicksand and you're like, yep, that's just got death written all over it. We'll stay away from that. Okay, so let's put the furnace in position. And possibly, nah, we don't need to make any more charcoal or anything like that. I was making charcoal between like today's episode and the last one because I seriously needed it. But we're okay for food. We got two chicken. Eggs, what's the chances of two chickens coming out? The chances of one chicken coming out actually, whoops. Well, that kind of sucked, didn't it? <laughs> okay, well, we might as well just go straight down here. I want to get to an iron deposit and then start looking at the types of um, weaponry we can have, because I know there's a lot in here. There's, there's no point in us sticking with the vanilla stuff, because that is just complete and utter silly, because we need to have fun and, you know, really test out this mod, and we can kind of sleep with it if we need to. So I'm going to keep using this until it breaks, of course. I know some people just throw their tools away, but, you know, this doesn't really last long enough to actually do anything with anyway, so... Unless you've got wooden tools, of course, you can always... It's like in UHC, the first thing you need to make, really, is a wooden pick. So that wooden pick, you could just throw straight in a furnace and make something really, you know, make something that's really going to help you out, like, you know, charcoal, for example, or cook up your f first piece of pork and so on like that. I need to rearrange this hotbar too, because put the rubbish stuff there, juicy. Put this here. The dirt on the bar. Let's go. 
And uh, also let me know in the comments below if the shader packs is okay with you. Ooh, spooky cave sound. Uh, uh. <laughs> I've been watching playthroughs of that new game out at the moment, the one that's still in alpha called The Forest. I'm really tempted to get it, but the cannibals in it, they would like so make me poop myself. I'm such a baby, like, when it comes to, like, scary games. There's, like, a video on my channel of me trying to play uh, Dead Space 2, I think, and I was just scared all the way through. I think I played for about 15 minutes of an attempted Let's Play, and I kind of freaked out. Yeah. It's like, one of the scariest games I've ever played that I've completed was Code Resident Evil Code Veronica. For the Sega... Was it for the Sega Dreamcast? And I think that was my only ever successful playthrough of a game. Oh look, we're in a cave. Can we... I know you can throw torches. To listen. Okay, so there's the iron we're after. Oh, look, emeralds! I'm really scared to, like, jump down here, because my... ...spawn is not correctly set yet. I'm such a baby! Okay, well this- oh, see, I tried to sprint then. No! Okay, there's a spider in there, we'll pretend he's not there. Unless it's the baby spiders. But we're in the wrong place to like, find baby spiders right now. Oh yes! Secure in the cave, UHC style. That. And then there is a bit of a drop in right there. Just plug that. I think we're kind of safe, and luck we found some gear too. This is pretty nice. I mean, the cave went down quite a bit, but... Whoops! That... Yeah, you die! Where is this? Miner's Delight. Whoa, what's all this? Blue stuff. We'll have to see what this Miner's Delight does, though. Let me grab all the resources and coal here. I'm level 23, too. That is so... So damn awesome, baby! So, diamonds, enchanting table. But we could definitely see what we can make with this iron in today's episode. I mean, like, I've seen, like, the muskets and stuff. And I think the musket balls are quite cheap, apparently. But that coal, that could stay there. For now, anyway. More coal. I can hear a zombie. I can hear it. So, is this salt something? Okay, this is salt. I can hear that zombie though, but I think we've kind of cut him off anyway. Or an emerald. Oh, cobweb. That's gonna come in handy. Did I see any more cobwebs? Yeah, there's more up here. So I think we're gonna stay here for like... Let's just stay here for like the next two episodes, maybe. Got a resource 
up we can see what this minus delight is all about but obviously you can let me know in the comments below it's gonna fast track me a little bit vineage did i miss any more resources i guess there's more down there but this is uh, head on up i'll try to grab this Boom. Right, let's head on up and see what we can do with the iron then. This cave looks like so spooky with the text with the shaders on. I mean, even with this cave lit up quite well, it still feels a little bit spooky down there, you know? Okay, so this probably nighttime too as well, so we can set our spawn. Definitely, yeah, it's night time. Let's set our spawn here. Cook up the iron, and let's check out the crafting guide. So we've got 11 iron in there. For the coal, so G for guide. And then can we... Oh, search here. So can we get like a pistol? Flintlock pistol. Okay, so that's flint and steel and that. Hey, that looks pretty good, guys. Maybe we should try that. Can I get, like, a rifle? No. Um, yeah, we'll try that, though. So, we need a bit of flint. Let's just check my back to see if anything's going to fall on me. No. <clears throat> So we need a little bit of flint somewhere. Um, that kind of looks like gravel up there. Let's go and see. Obviously, this is... Oh, that's not even quicksand. What's this? Whoa, it's really hard, though. What the hell is this stuff? Break! Sand. What the hell is that all about? Okay, so I can see the gravel here. Oh, it's a zomble! Okay, there's a flint. Let's go and get a zomble, see if he drops like an iron ingot or something. Oh, he just triple decker died! <clears throat> Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So we got our flint. Flint lock pistol. And that takes two iron. Can I stand on this? I'm really like... There is quicksand. It's like rock hard though. I can... Walk into it. Alright, let's just do that so I done... That's so weird, my shovel didn't want to break the quicksand. Yoink! Okay, let's double check the recipe. Okay, pistol, so we need oak planks, stick, two iron, and flint steel. Flint steel. All this way. Flint steel, two iron. Oh man, just place these things correctly. And then we need a plank. Or right here. Flint lock pistol. And it's got like plus 15 second reload. It is so bright in this humble abode. <clears throat> so we need bullets. Oh look. Or rounds? Musket rounds. Flint lock. Okay, so this time in flint lock. I'm kind of confused on what this actually 
So what did the musket rounds take? Flintlock pistol. It can't be the musket though, can it? I mean, like, we've got it here, flintlock, so isn't there any, like... Let me guess, it, like, shoots pieces of flint or something. I'm just gonna jump cut a minute, guys, and I'm gonna check the wiki out and see what this bad boy does. Okay, we have returned. We need to make musket rounds, so... In order to make musket rounds... Well, you guys probably already know. We need gunpowder. So, staying here for a few days is probably our priority, and we also need paper as well, so... Let's just put some good stuff in here. Well, <laughs> take that back. It's not good, but it's stuff. <laughs> so, we'll keep the flintlock in there. We'll keep that in there. Food. So, what would be a good way to get gunpowder? I mean, we need paper as well, so... Have a look, see if there's a gunpowder recipe. Gunpowder... And there is actually no gunpowder recipe too, so... I guess... That kinda sucks. Are there any reeds around here? Let's go and have a quick trip over here. Um, I think 20 minutes is probably gonna be the cap for this episode. We kind of just passed that, so we're gonna be quite close to, uh... Calling this episode done. Maybe there's an alternative way to make paper. Maybe. Paper. Just the reeds. Oh, look! Douche! So we are ever so closer to making some of this epicness. But uh, I think we're gonna go with a gun route for a while. Um, so I think having some sort of way where we can make gunpowder on a, a regular basis is probably something we want to look at. So, um, I think we may as well just adventure out again in the next episode. I mean, living on a place like this is quite cool, you know, next to the beach and all, but... Oh, that is kind of foggy and spooky. Any creepers in here? Creeper! No. <clears throat> but we'll take the string. Yeah, so... Living next to, like, the seaside like this is kind of cool, but really... I need somewhere a bit open. Wow, where the hell did all these chickens and eggs come from? I'll take you. I'll kill you. I'll have you. There we go, but I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Just supporting the series. It's ever-growing, and I'm forever being grateful for it. Um, make sure you leave all your suggestions down below. And a good solution for getting gunpowder quite easy would be appreciated too. And I was looking at that shark and pooping my pants at the same time because I did not want to die. Okay, so we're living in this cove for the night. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next episode of Life in the Woods.